It was all going a bit too well. It was all going a bit too well. 3-0 up at half time in Seville, getting revenge over the team that beat us in the League final. And the team that came back to somehow snatch a point in Anfield in the Champions League. And yeah. Uh, insert the Istanbul pun here. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. Um, look. It's a it's a point in Seville. I'm <laughs> to try and put a positive spin on this. We've gone to Seville and got a point. Uh, keeps us top of the group. We're in the Champions League, um, and we should be in the last sixteen after the next game. Um, <laughs> we're fucking idiots. <laughs> we're just fucking idiots. <sighs> Whoa, it was all going so well. Four straight wins um, domestically and in Europe. Um, three and a half at half time, playing well. Lovren running the defence, Firmino running the show up front, the midfield controlling it, Coutinho putting the strings, Sevilla nowhere, uh, Carras making world class saves. Um, <laughs> and yeah, we've, we've, we've Liverpooled it. Um, we've Liverpooled it. Uh, God, I, I'm pretty speechless. Um, I'm just, I'm just a bit pissed off. I have to wait until Saturday for us to get it out of our system. To be honest, um, I'm not that annoyed that we've dropped two points. Uh, you know, we we should beat Spartak Moscow, or we should at least oh, avoid defeat against Spartak Moscow at Anfield. I'm not worried about that. Um, my my worry is that I have to wait four days for us to get this out of our system. I have to wait four days of being pissed off that we didn't win our last game because it's been great knowing that we've won our last game. I know we're good enough to win any game. But when you've got divvies like Alberta Moreno, unfortunately, um, you're always susceptible to, to blowing leads. Um, and when you've got divvies like most of our most of our players, um, then you're going to be susceptible to losing leads. As much as I think they're great players, a lot of them, um, and it, we showed that in the first half. The, the attacking three were remarkable. The midfield was good. We defended well. Doesn't change the fact there's a lot of divvies in that side. As much as they're talented players with a lot of good technique and ability, there's too many divvies in there. Moreno, I like him. He's okay. He's, he's technically pretty good, but he's a fucking div. Um, same go. Same goes for Lovren. Unfortunately, same goes for Clavin. He, he just, you know, he's got a good touch on him and he can bring the ball out, but he, he's a div. Um, didn't do an awful lot wrong. But at the end of the day, he got a lot of divs. Loris Karras has got no confidence in himself, uh, makes a couple of good saves, great saves, saves that he does a lot of credit for. Um, but he doesn't feel with any confidence. It's the same with Menule, to be honest. It's the same with the same issues throughout the team. It was something I ranted about after Spurs. I'm not going to go on a mad rant today because I could do that and I could pour my heart out and satisfy all other fan bases and be... You know, another Crystal Palace free Liverpool free situation, or another severe free Liverpool one situation. But yeah, it's a shit result. Yeah, we fucking embarrassed ourselves in the second half. But in the grand scheme of things, it's just a. a, a just, we should go through. We'll, we'll we'll go through. But fucking hell, we're so Liverpool. We're so Liverpool. Uh, let's go through player ratings. This should be interesting. At, at half time, it was looking fucking easy. Um, Carrius. A couple of really great saves. I mean, the one, the one in the second half. I think it's a three-two, when it bounces down onto the bar. Wow, what a save! And the one in the first half when he slips onto the post. Both, as much by luck as by judgment, but I'm still going to give him a seven. Just, but mostly because I'm worried that if I give him anything lower than that, you're all going to be moaning in the comments, and I have to consider that because I don't like reading abuse towards me. But I'm going to be honest throughout these. Gomez was one of the. Um, how should I put it? A, a lesser of the evils at the back in the second half. I thought Gomez actually did okay. I thought I think probably seven out of ten, probably fair for him. And Lovren did really well in the first half. I said it was his best half uh, in, 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 in his Liverpool career. But the fact is, is it the scene of the crime where we can see three goals? None of which I suppose are directly his fault. Um, but I can't give him an eight out of ten, really, can I? Can I? Uh, do you know what? I will. I'm going to give him an eight out of ten. I'm going to be nice. At risk of you lot hating me in the comments. Uh, Clavin, seven. He did well first half. Everyone did fucking good first half. Moreno. <laughs> oh, Moreno. Five. And I'm not being too harsh before you say that. Uh, midfield, Henderson. 
I just don't know where I stand on him. Oh, I don't really want to go into too much on him. It's too heated at the moment to really give an, a good analysis of what Jordan Henderson did out there tonight. I thought he was just too, too up for it almost. Just too passionate. Fucking calm down. It's a six out of ten. Vinaldum seven. Um, some of you are probably going to call me out for that being too high, but I never. Uh, Coutinho, great first half. Had to be hooked because he was, did nothing in the second half. Uh, so let's go for a seven. Um, up front, Salah doesn't score, which is a rarity. Uh, doesn't create, which is a rarity, but is a threat throughout seven. Mane scores and creates by virtue of the goalkeeper. Eight out of ten. Yeah, okay. Great first half. Firmino, unplayable first half. One of the best displays he's put in a Liverpool shirt for that first 45 minutes. Two goals. Brilliant strength, just bossed it, just great work rate, right? everything you want. Second half, unfortunately, just goes completely missing, so I have to have to take a couple of points off. So it's an 8 out of 10. Uh, I'm going to give him man of the match. Uh, I can't give it to a defender after what happened, and he did score two and was just influential for the whole first half where we were absolutely on fire. Let's not forget that. As much as the second half is the one which is going to make the headlines, uh, the first half was absolutely joyous, and he was a big part of that. So I'm going to give him man of the match with 8 out of 10. Liverpool... Uh, I love you so much, I love you, but stop fucking doing this to me, you're all I've got, and I can't wait for Saturday, uh, I'm going to leave more beers pretty much than I thought I was going to now, I thought it was going to be a joyous day where we all celebrate being in the last 16 of the Champions League and being in the former Premier League, but I'm going to have a drink through it because my confidence is going to be as low as the players after what's just happened, hopefully we can get it back to grips and training, um, <laughs> fuck's sake. <laughs> I'll see you next time.